Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. For this next exercise, we're going to be alternating lunges. So go ahead and step front, bring the arms out, and then front. Alternate those legs. So you're bringing one leg out, and you're alternating those arms as well. Don't just listen to God's Word. You must do what it says, right? So practice the Word of God. Whatever you're reading, just ask the Lord how you can incorporate and activate His Word into your life. Again, front lunge, landing the heel, and then power back out of your heel as you come back. Keep that core engaged. One more. Nice. All right, this next one's a two-step. So you're going two-step, alternating the knees and the arms. It's low impact. If you want to bring it up, you can do that shuffle step. Whatever is good for you today, right? I love this scripture verse. He must increase, but I must decrease. More of Jesus and less of me. So placing again your thoughts on Him and reading the Word and praying, all of those things help us. And also surrounding yourself with people who love the Lord, who will encourage you and spur you on, and you do the same for them, right? All of that helps us just to keep our focus on God. One more. Very nice. We're going down to the floor. This next one is a side plank. And you can keep it low, and we've done this before, on the knee, or you can step out. This is a basic arm row. If you just want to hold the plank right here, that's fine too. If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come and the old life is gone. Because guess what? The new is here. We start all over again. Isn't that awesome? All right, single row is so good for the shoulders and the mid back. And that plank again, you can kneel the plank, you can bring both legs out, and you can just hold it. But I like to do this uh, single row. Uh, it's very powerful for the arms. It helps stabilize everything as you hold that core tight. Last one, let's transition to the opposite side. Exact same exercise. Again, you can kneel and bring that arm up and that's fine. And when you're doing that, stretch that leg out there so make sure those muscles stay contracted or go ahead and reach both legs out. You know, if you love the Lord, you show it by doing what he's telling you to do, right? Like as you read the word and um, you want to be obedient to the word, you want to be obedient to God, you want to please him. Like the word says, less of us and more of Christ. All right, feel that again through your shoulders, feel that stabilization through your core and your legs and that upper body. Last one, very nice job. All right, we're going back up to that front lunge, alternating and using those arms, front lunge. Go ahead, bring the arms out and then bring them front and out and front. Those who belong to Christ Jesus, they've been crucified by the flesh with its passions and desires. I no longer have certain passions and desires that I once had before I asked the Lord into my life. I really don't. And, um, you know, I was a big sinner, but thank the Lord that He saved me by His grace. I still mess up and I still sin, but I don't have those same desires that I used to, those worldly desires. One more. 
Very nice. All right, two step again, low impact or shuffle step. Bring that leg up. You can flex that foot. And as always, navel to the spine, right? Walk in a manner, walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him. And I ask myself, I do, Teresa, does that please the Lord? Does it please God? Would He be happy with you right now? And you know, sometimes I'm like, no, He probably would not. And I have to come to the end of myself and say, Lord, please forgive me for that. And maybe it's go to my husband and say, Robin, I'm sorry. I was tensed up. I was nervous. I shouldn't have said what I said. You know, sometimes we just say things in the heat of the moment. Last one, the good news is God always forgives us. We're going back to a plank. And so bring the legs out or kneel. Now on this one, what I want you to do is take two weights or you don't have to use weights. You're just gonna row one arm at a time. Bring that elbow straight back. Keep your hips down, draw near to God. And his word says that he will draw near to you. Keep him close. Keep breathing. Keep doing what he's called you to do. Keep pleasing him. Ask yourself, Jesus is right here with me. Does this please him? What I just said, does that please him? My thoughts, my actions, the things I'm watching, the things I'm reading, does it please the Lord? Last one. Very nice, I'm sure that you did those with me and you did fantastic. So coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. We're working on the biceps with the curtsy squat as well. So let's alternate those legs side to side as we go into those bicep curls. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, that scripture in itself just encourages me. It just lifts my spirit. It reminds me that yes, I can do all things through Christ because He is the one who supplies my strength. I don't have to worry about that. I just have to step out there and do what He's calling me to do. Keep this body strong, keep my spirit strong, read his word, pray, and just really listen to the Lord. Listen to him closely. How is he speaking to your heart? One more. And now I'm gonna switch out the weights on this next one. It's cross jabs, this is low impact cardio. You're just gonna bring those arms across the body. You can bring them low. You can certainly bring them way up if you want. You can do a hop on this one if you want it to but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you did you hear that my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness right we all have weak areas just like one side of the body seems just slightly weaker than the other side well God comes alongside of us and he strengthens that side. He says, here, let me take over in that area. All right, keep it moving. One more each arm. We're making our way down to the floor on this next one. And if you want to use a weight, you can. It's a basic sit up, but then you're gonna rotate. So let's go down, keep the core engaged, come up. Rotate one direction, lower back down, and then rotate the opposite direction. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and also believe in me. And that's Jesus, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
All right, that core, it's super strong. It's supporting your spine, your back, your shoulders are down and that mouth is open. We need a lot of oxygen. Let's do that one more time. Come up, rotate, and make your way back up to the floor. We're going into some reverse lunges. So grabbing some weights, whatever you wanna use. Reverse lunge, and you're gonna pulse back for your triceps. Reverse lunge and pulse, and then step together. So of course, we're alternating the legs on this one and keeping those arms low. Check your positioning and your alignment. Just make sure you're standing up tall. You're using those muscles. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. That's the good news. I could say that scripture verse for every single exercise and we would be just fine, right? One more. Now going back to those cross jabs. I love incorporating low impact cardio with strength training. Even though the heart rate is not soaring, it's up enough. It's in that aerobic zone. Gives us a great workout. It's something that you could easily do in your own home, just like we're doing now, right? I am the way and the truth and the life. Jesus is. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through Jesus, all right? When we pray, we pray to Jesus. He intercedes for each one of us, and He goes to God, His Father. And you'll find that in the Word, so look it up. You don't have to take my word for it. Take God's word for it. One more each arm. Let's go back down to the floor. We're going back to that sit up and rotation. So of course the core is pulled in. I'm gonna really focus in on the abdominals here. You know, Jesus told us that in the world, we would have tribulation. You know, we would have some trouble. So he was warning us, he was letting us know. But he goes on to say, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. He has. Keep that in mind when you're looking at the world and you see things going on and you're like, you know, there's no hope. There is a lot of hope through Christ Jesus. One more, and let's go on back up. On this one, we're going back to the curtsy and work those triceps. So go ahead and just bring those arms back and you can kick back. Going into that curtsy, I love this one for the legs. Fear not, for I am with you. This is one of my favorite verses. It just keeps me grounded. Be not dismayed, for I am your God, and I will strengthen you, and I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I mean, doesn't that just inspire you to keep going, even when things aren't going so great in your life? God is with you. He's gonna hold you up. He's going to strengthen you. That's what his word says, and I believe it. How does this feel in the legs and through those arms? We're almost there. You're doing beautifully. One more. Nice job. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and I believe that shopping is a ministry. The Shape by Faith shop offers many unique products and apparel that will be sure to make a statement that you are a child of God. These shirts and workout tanks are comfy, trendy, and offer a high level of modesty. 
Most important, the clothing is a great way to start a conversation with people you meet. Our most popular apparel is warrior in training, born for a time such as this, prayer, coffee, workout, love one another, and fear not. But you can never go wrong with our classic Shape by Faith shirts, tanks, and lightweight pullovers. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio and television shows, and Shape by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.